Hello, everybody, and welcome to your third DieHero.net HTML tutorial. I'm Rob, and I will be guiding you through this yet again. If you remember last time, we went over some fundamental things in HTML. We went over how to put up font, we went over how to change the color of font, and we also went over how to put up an image and how to manipulate that image. Today we're going to do much more, but you're asking yourself, why am I on this site? Well, this is my site, and if you guys ever want more help with HTML, I got it all here. Um, on my site, I have the news, where I just list the, the newest videos that we have. Um, you see you can go to lessons and... Um, in the HTML, I have tons of links if you guys need it. But right now, I'm going to teach you stuff because I know you guys just don't want self-promotion. Neither do I. So, let's go over it. Um, remember, if you have Notepad, open it up. Or if you have Notepad++, open it up. I always recommend Notepad++ because it's a lot easier. It highlights everything, but... I've already said that before. All right, today what we're going to go over is we're going to go over how to link two pages together. We've done a link before, but I think it's important to see how it kind of works, how the dynamics work between two pages. And, you know, the only way you're going to get to know this kind of stuff is by practice. So, in the other thing that we're going to do is we're going to put a link in a picture. Last time, I believe, we only put it in the text, so it's basically the same thing. It's really easy, you guys. I know you can do it. You're smart. But we're also going to go over how to put a link into the text, you know, in the middle of the text that you want, and how to put a background image. But enough talk. Let's get this started. As you can see, this is a typical HTML document that we work with. Um, I have the head right here, which I forgot to end. But I'll do that real quick. Okay, slash head. I know I said I, I would tell you guys about the meta later, and I will, but just very briefly, um, right here in the meta, what we have here is keywords that the search engines are going to pick up. So it's real important later when you guys actually start putting your sites online, if that's what you're going to do, to put this, sti this type of stuff up. Because that's what the, the spider, they call them, um, spiders um, from like Google and stuff they'll go on your web page and this you know they'll go right under meta and then they're gonna look under the content but going on to um, the images and the, the the links that we're gonna do today right here this is body background background this is an old-school way to do it so it's probably not the best way to do it anymore but you need to know it you need to know how it started how it does and it will still get the job done in most cases but right now see that that's a background image um, and what's gonna happen is this image you'll see in a second is gonna just gonna be spread all across the page so it is important to put that if you want a background image in there uh, but moving on, this is our this is kind of review, you guys. Uh, you should know this, or you should know at least uh, the href, which we taught last lesson. All href is, if you remember, it's just a link. That's all it is. But if you remember, we always have to have an end tag in most cases with almost everything. And this is href. Like I said, that's the link, and this is for about.html, and this is going to be the second document that we are going to make. Or if you're just watching, just, just watch along and you'll see. As you can see, image screen, yeah, I mean image src, that's just to put up, up an image. We went over this last time too. But all this stuff is going to be on our desktop in a normal HTML situation, or in a normal HTML page rather. <laughs> this is going to be on your server. It's basically the same concept. It's not that much harder to do it on a server. It's basically the same exact thing. So, 
I, I want you guys to pick an image. It doesn't have to be this one I have right here. I just got want you guys to get the point. And sometimes doing it your own way is a better way to do it. But see this alt right here? Alt means when somebody sees your page but they can't see the picture, this is the text they're going to see. And see, I'm, I'm doing a bad habit right here. I'm listing tag words. In alt, you shouldn't list tag words, really. Um, you should list something that's helpful uh, to the person reading it. So, click to see to see what the site's about. And that's a horrible <laughs> sentence. But we're going to use it. Okay. Alright, width can be anything you want. Um, what I like to do is, you know, I always hear mixed things on whether you should use the exact size when you do width and height. Uh, I've heard both sides. It doesn't really matter if you don't, you know, if you don't get it exactly, you know, and I've also heard that, you know, it does. You have to get it right because it loads much quicker. But basically what I do, I, I, I try to stick to the, you know, as close to the dimensions of the original picture as I can. Um, so when I make a picture, I just label it. Um, I, I label what it's about. This is a button, you know, something you can click, and then I put the the uh, dimensions of it: 148 um, width and 55 height, just so I can type it in here real easy. And if you'll see, that's on. Excuse me, that's on the page too. See, this is it right here, and this is the desktop. This is where we're saving everything so that it can all be a accessed. If you save the picture somewhere else and you have the you know the main.html on here it's not going to work.